Hey guys, Nightwing for Fifty here, and welcome to Summerlands. Um, there's a, it said in the warning as I was opening up the game, it said uh, lights, a certain light pattern, and all that. I don't know if it said epilepsy. I didn't get to see it. Uh, so be warned. There's gonna be a lot of flashing lights. I think that's what it said. You have been warned. I already went into the settings. I put the highest. I don't know if I want depth of field. Because by the looks of this, it would make sense. Motion blur, I will not accept though. So I would leave everything here like as it is. Highest uh, post-processing at that. Yes. Actually, wait. Hold up. What's the controls? Looks moody and revert. Why would you move straight from layout? Uh, walk, look, left click, right click, run, take, take pills. UV light, reminder, toggle, radical. Alright, we'll figure that out when we get there, right? Yes. Alright, let's head out to a new game. There's a there's been a lot of settings in this game about optimization. This is not a safe function to wire back. Save your game upon reaching certain checkpoints. When you see the following saving, please refrain from exiting the game. Makes sense. Makes sense as it is. I didn't check if my microphone is working. I recorded so much today. And I didn't even check if my mic is connected. Oh god, I am rolling the dice. I will roll the dice of chance today. It's a black screen. It's a black screen. Right. I had to lower the game from outside. Fire games. Why is it black bar there? Oh, I know it's black bar, it's top and bottom. Alright. Oh, wait, this seems like the intro. I did it in the intro again. Are oh, you gonna get the warning now? What? Summerland. I have. I already forgot what this game is about. So while waiting for the, the remain. Oh. Oh, why is there so many black bars? Hello. Move. Look. All right. So while waiting. Hello, Tone. How are you doing? Well, waiting for the 1,000 live stream to happen, I went around and down the... Uh, okay. Oh. Um, hello! Well, you're probably pretty confused, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah. To be expected. But, look, I have to explain all this constantly, and I don't really care to do it again. I'd say I do it hundreds of times a day, but time doesn't really exist here, so... Look, all you need to do is walk outside into the hallway and into your first trial. Your body will be reenacting events exactly as they'd occurred before. Simply put, your free will won't exactly be that free anymore. I'll be watching you so I can hey. tally up your score, but... Fair warning, I typically deal with the... Um, let's just say the people I judge typically score on the lower end so <laughs> have fun with that on your mind so you understand what you're supposed to do <laughs> i'm just kidding i know you can't respond i've set all this up so you can't talk i know i know it seems a bit harsh but if you had to listen to people panicking for eternity you'd get pretty sick of it too oh where am i what's going <laughs> on i want to see my family i don't it gets annoying. I don't have oh. you know it's almost like no one even reads the sign i put up yeah, we're making right, enough talk. Head out into the hall and start your first trial. Let's get this over with. Okay, so while waiting for the thousand live stream, I rec I got a lot of games together. Oh, I can't change my motion blur. I wanted to put it on. So I got a bunch of games, and I have no idea what this game is. All these games I'm recording today is all about, and I'm just learning for the first time. Also, I picked up the phone instantly the moment he decided to do that. Oh, R is to change the radical. It means disappear radical. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. I'll go to the first trial. Oh. How are you holding up, Evelyn? You're not looking too hot. Looking at this makes me feel sick. What happened? Yeah, it's hard the first few times. You're not a real investigator until you don't puke on the body. <laughs> Matt, Ugh. Mm. let's 
talk about anything else? Did you check the report? No, not yet. I'll check it out. Try not I'm to lose your lunch while I'm at it. <laughs> Very funny. That's a sword. I check out that report to see what I'm working with. I think I left it on the hood of the cruiser. You did, Matthew. Uh... Huh. This knife has blood on it. Fresh blood. To have been used in whatever altercation happened here. Alright, well, <laughs> I took a screenshot. Let's go ahead and read this. Here that someone driving nearby heard a gunshot at the location. What? When they came to check it out, they saw the body. Only one shot was heard. No assailant has been identified. Not much more to go off of. Gunshot survey kind of in the... What does it say? Gunshot. Some people heard a gunshot and saw the body. I'm not working with much. You hang tight. I'm going to have a look around. What? Uh, you can't. It can't be gunshot. Evelyn has a long ways to go, but I think she's right. going to do well on the force. One of the most promising rookies I've met. It just takes time. Yes. A few more ride-alongs will do her good. There's the gunshot. Or the bullet casing. This at least. casing belongs to a nine millimeter Pistol. bullet. I don't see a weapon around here, though. It's a nine millimeter. That, that's only viable to pistols or SMGs. Poor guy. Male, probably in his early 30s. Given the bullet hole in his head, I'd have to say he died from a gunshot wound. Looks like the bullet went straight through. Then what's I with should the knife? probably take a look at that blood as well. Looks like someone had a bad day. The blood only seems to be coming from his head, so there likely wasn't much of a struggle. Oh, and would you look at that? Someone left a trail of blood. He went to the bathroom. He couldn't hold it in. Alright. Axe is sharp. Good for chopping wood, but I don't think it was used in the murder. Well, yeah, only an idiot would think that. This is too far away from the case. No blood, no evidence. That's could be. Go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going in there if I don't have to. What do you mean? The blood trail leads this way, technically. From here to here to probably around here. No, it continues. Blood, blood, blood. Do you have your gun out? I'd have my gun out if I was investigating blood. A blood trail like this. That's someone over there. The blood kind of just stops here. I mean, there's a road here, so he had to continue down the road. If you're ever lost, press that for a reminder. Screw you. There's the gun. Hey, look at that. It's a pistol. Oh, it looks like a lock. Looks like this handgun was discarded, and rather hastily at that. Safe to assume this was used at the scene. Keep running, I guess. Take the... Actually, no. You can't take that gun. Pull out your own gun. The guy could still be armed. How many do I have? Hey, dollars. Well, he may just have found a motive. Two more. Four hundred dollars in cash. Why toss it away? Uh. I ain't need to move my chair a little closer. More blood. Did he die? I don't think this is the blood from the guy he murdered. I think he got stabbed and then he shot back. Uh, are we going to see him dead on this tree? I'm missing one more evidence piece. He went to the right. Copy. Pills. Not the cheap us. stuff either. Strong. Some people would pay good money for this. Yeah, I mean, painkillers probably. I think the guy died. I don't think he made it that far. I think he got stabbed too deep. Blood trail heads into that cave. I need to be careful.
careful. He might be dead. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's what the letterbox thing is. There's black bars is because of the letterbox. Poor bastard. He's got a stab wound in his abdomen. It's deep, too. He most likely died from blood loss. Probably not too long after crawling in here. All right, I think that should about do it. I should reconvene with Evelyn before we head back to the precinct. Then I hear another gunshot, and then boom, she's dead. Or they're dead. I have all the evidence. I need to probably get rid of the letter box. I don't know if I like it. has to take pills. Oh, I was like, what does that lead to? No, that's where I came from. Oh, that's all the evidence. Hey. Hey, Ev. Hey, Matthew. Did you find everything you need? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So, what do you think happened? If you don't mind me asking. Well, I'm gonna need to review a lot of it, but here's my theory. Our friend here on the ground came here to get his hands on some pills. Maybe during the deal, he had the bright idea that maybe he could leave with his pills and his money. So he took a gamble and stabbed his dealer. In turn, the dealer acted in self-defense and shot the guy, killing him. Scared, the dealer grabbed everything and ran, or at least got away as fast as he could with a stab wound. He tried to discard the evidence as he went, but he didn't really have time to hide it. He got to the cave before realizing he couldn't get any further, so that's where he stopped lead out and die. That sucks. Jesus. Yeah. Again, that's just my theory. There'll be a whole lot more of you. It's just a whole process. Yeah. Hey, Matt, can I ask you a question? What's up, Ev? Why? Why do you think this happened? That's a good question. What do you mean? Did the drug deal gone wrong? No. No, just these yes. people. Why did they resort to this? Just seems like some people don't see right and wrong. Maybe I'm just being naive. But Makes sense, though. I can't put myself in that headspace. Yeah. Killing another person by choice. Exactly. Hmm. I don't know if anything brings them to it. I, I think they may just be that way. No. Hard wired to do wrong. I mean. I don't know. I don't have much remorse for them. They've done bad. In my eyes, if you do something wrong, you deserve what's coming no, uh, to you. You can't start sympathizing for them. That's when you start getting bad at your job. That's a bad excuse. Yeah, yeah that makes Don't sense. Don't agree with him. All right, let's get back in the cruiser and head back to the precinct. I Just because you did something bad doesn't make you a bad this. person. Yeah. Kind Okay, it does. But then you don't, you're not, you're not in the right by punishing that person. They did bad. They don't. They kind of deserve what's coming for them. Oh, Jesus Christ! It smells like shit in here. Whoever lived here wasn't too keen on keeping the place tidy. Hey, whoever lives here is probably running their own little independent pharmacy. You can see why. This stuff isn't exactly over the counter. But like, I don't know. Some people deserve, they did things because they're desperate. That's my theory and thing. This guy was definitely prepping for something. Cans of food, water jugs. I don't really think it's relevant to the case, though. Oh, there's a 
gunshot, I'm assuming, that went through, but that's too high. Hello. Looks like a list of clients. Whatever happened outside could be a deal gone wrong. I mean, this guy could have been the dealer. Alright, what was I supposed to go? Back to the cruiser. Boom. But, like, I don't know. It's so weird. I, like, they, like they said, you can't put yourself in their shoes. You can try, at least. Sympathy for the bad. Ah, I don't know. Because, obviously, if you do something bad, you deserve punishment. Yes, but... To death? That's over exaggerated. All right, I am back. Just another day. You know, a police officer is definitely not what I expected from you. A man of the law. <laughs> Being a member of the police force doesn't exactly say much about your character, but it is a job aimed at keeping peace. Oh boy, I cannot wait to see how you screwed all of this up. Well, hey. Don't stop on my accord. Head on out into your second trial. Screw you. <laughs> Everything's gonna go bad. Oh. Trial complete. Oh, I only get one take of these. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, let's get a little light in here. Oh, no. That's better. Alright, I need to get some work done. Now I need to check my email. Definitely need to get my bills paid, too. Good thing Joseph's asleep. That'll make things easier. Bills and this. <laughs> hey, I remember that vacation. That's pretty I good. remember you wanting to swim, but couldn't. <laughs> There's something you could do with sharks. I don't know. <sighs> I, That's sad. I really miss you, man. I feel like, I don't know, guys. This feels like I could probably do this all in one video, but... I'm gonna try and separate this because there's so many trials and I took 15 minutes in one. I like talking and giving my own opinion on things. Man, I barely read any of these. You uh, Burke one. Maybe Burke like one. three? That'll be something to do if I get bored. If you haven't read any so far, Man, then you're bored. I barely read any of these. Maybe like three? That'll be something to do if I get bored. If you haven't read any so far, then yeah. Looks like they're cutting funding from the police okay, force good. again. I can barely even pay for my medication. Oof. You might die. Oh, God. He might actually die. <laughs> if you don't have medication, you're going to struggle. Ooh, he has an Xbox. Like, everyone should have an Xbox. Pretty good. Okay, wait. Where's the Xbox located, though? I mean, I, I'd be down to play some Halo. You know, Halo. Piano, toys. Not gonna say anything about this. You're not gonna solve anything. I need to pay my bills. That's not bills. That's a coffee mug. Car keys. Oh, is there car keys here? I'm not really hungry right now. Plus, I have things to do. Yes. Pass How the it. hell am I supposed to keep this up? Yeah. Especially with all these budget cuts. I may need to start prioritizing what to pay for. Alright, guys. So, sorry, I decided that the letterbox is good and all, but I feel like I won't get rid of it. Oh my god, oh, flashbang. Uh, I feel you know, like... a police officer is definitely not what I expected from you. A man of the law. Oh, no, I... Being a member of the police... I shouldn't have done exactly it. say much about your character, but it is a job aimed at keeping peace. Oh, boy. I the letterbox does make it epic, though. All of this up. Well, hey, don't stop on my accord. Head on out into your second trial. I uh, try out one of these with uh, this. Okay, let's get a little light in better. here. All right, I need to get some work done. Man, I'm checking the rain mails. Oh, no. <laughs> Bill's rain, too. Speed running is not a good idea. Joseph is slower. That'll make things easier. Oh, uh, <laughs> already, we already reviewed hey, all this. I remember that vacation. I remember you wanting to yeah, swim, but couldn't. 
Looks like they're maybe cutting the funding for the police force again. I know. I barely <sighs> even pay for my medication. I really miss you, man. He has a bad How the hell pass. am I supposed to keep this up? Especially with all these budget cuts. I may need to start prioritizing what to pay for. I feel bad for him. Alright. Not hungry. I'm not gonna go for that. So I turn on motion blur. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I decided it was my judgment. I don't really need anything in the basement right now. True, you don't need anything in the basement. I need to check my bills. Should probably take a look at my email as well. Okay, where's all that located? Upstairs? Hello? Hello, family that's in this house of mine. Who's also my family? Okay. There you go. I is home. Hello, bathroom. Hello, me. You don't have a mirror. Come on. Are you. No, you, you don't. Medication. You're not gonna say anything about these? Oh, you squint. That's that's how you focus. Makes sense. Well, I'm not staying here for too long, so. I remember that very day. If only I could go back, just for a little while. Jeez. You guys are rough. His grandparents, I'm assuming. Beach. I don't know what that is. Hello. I knew exactly that this was my room. I need to be quiet. Joey's sleeping. Ew, would you look at that? We don't turn on the light here. That is creepy to have open. Just look at him. I do it all for you, buddy. <laughs> you look just like your mother. Wait, is that Xbox 360 yours? And just you alone? That's crazy. I wish Anna could see you. Jesus, I can't believe it's been a year. I'll do whatever I can to keep you safe. These toys, man, who haunt your baby, don't have them around. That is for me. I don't think I want to do this. No. no. What was I thinking? Joseph's song with guitar. Baby, don't cry. Right. You guys can read that. Oh, hey, I remember owning one of these. Alright, close that door. What is that? What the heck? Plug no, you don't play music. There's a baby here. Another room. <laughs> Man, I haven't played in a while. I remember I wrote this song me and Anna used to sing to Joseph before he was born. HDMI no signal. Well, that's a good thing. You don't want to be playing X Xbox up here. Pencil this. This. You don't need to sleep. You need to taxes. Damn it. Another pay cut. I might need to take a second job. That's what I was just saying. You need a second job. As you know, another government has been continuously cutting funding from most of our government jobs. Opinions are why is my job no for. Shit. No. Joey's awake. There's gotta be something I can do to settle him down. Guitar. Uh, why would you open the door that way? Oh, I need to do something to get him back to sleep. Oh god. Get the guitar! Get the guitar! Well. This is a long shot, but... Boom. These babies! I know I'll never do this as well as your mom, but... I can't move. Baby boy, don't cry, cause I'm right here. Oh, 
I'll still be here all the same. The guitar. Not no music. Nah, just guitar. Baby boy. The night's dark, but we're never far apart. Cause in your heart, when I'm gone, I'll still be here all the same. Oh, that's sad. Seem to do it. Love you, buddy. That is creepy. But that's sad. Alright. Alright, oh, it's, it's not. E, I've been pressing me too much. Oh, no. Be so expensive. <sighs> okay, okay. I need to take it easy. <sighs> oh, maybe I'll just head downstairs and see what's on TV. That is not okay. He's gonna die due to whatever is happening to him. He's gonna run. At, I feel this is my prediction. All right, he's gonna die at the end. Because he ran out of pills. A good father. Yes, he is a good father. You know what? Things aren't actually looking too bad for you so far. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say you might not end up scoring too low. Almost. I handle all the bad people, remember? So, what have we learned? A police officer, a single father. Yeah. What happened to, uh, what's her name? Anna? I wonder. Well, it's not really in my jurisdiction to know about that. We're here to focus on you, my friend, and as much okay. as I hate to say it, there hasn't really been anything I could justify docking you points for yet. Plus, you do really seem to care about that kid. I think I need to learn a little bit more about you, who you really are, where your mind's at. Step into the next room. I, I want to <clears> test something. That will be in the next episode, actually. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Actually, we'll do it right now. This is not a trial. Hello? You see, I don't think I know enough about you. Yet. I want to learn who you are. Get inside of your head. Really? So here's your job. There are two philosophers who have interesting theories about morality and ethics. They're the two guys you're looking at now. Okay. Emmanuel Kant and Jeremy Bentham. They each came up with their own idea of what a good action is. Okay. Kant proposed the idea of deontological ethics. By his model, all actions are inherently good or bad, regardless of their consequences. Now let's use the trolley dilemma as an example. Oh, here we go. The trolley is going to run over five trolley people problem. who are tied to the tracks. If you change the direction of the trolley, it kills one person. one person. Kant would argue that you don't change the trolley's direction. Sure, five people will die, but you didn't have any direct input on it. That's if a bad way of thinking. Trolley's direction, that one death was caused by you. You committed an immoral action regardless of the outcome. Jeremy Bentham, on the other hand, would disagree. Bentham proposed the idea of utilitarianism. By his ideology, the right or moral decision is the one that results in the most good. Yes. The outcome is more important than the action itself. Ooh. He would say that you steer the trolley to hit the one man. Sure, you were directly involved in his death, but oh, no. more people survive than would have otherwise. All you need to do is tell me who you agree with. Kant's deontological method or Bentham's method of utilitarianism. Where do your morals lie? I... Personally, I'm just curious who tied everyone to the tracks. There are much more efficient ways to kill people if that was your goal. Anyways, push the button in front of the portrait of who you agree with most. After that, head out into the hallway. Your next trial will be waiting for you. 
I, okay, funny enough, the trolley system. Me and Junior were actually discussing about that recently. Because it's hilarious. Uh, I showed him a bunch of memes about it because I just remembered it. I forgot why I brought it up or stuff. But the trolley problem is very interesting because I heard many, many inputs on it. Of, hey, you don't don't change the track or whatever because you you tried everything. You couldn't stop the train or trolley. And it ran over people. But, like, I'd say save more people as much as possible. That's it. I think I'm out, right? And Jeremy. Because, like, I feel like you want to say... But that doesn't mean the action. Okay. Oh, but now I'm in the third one. I'll continue this in the next episode, but it's so weird. Just, but that doesn't mean that they get the, that doesn't justify you though. Know? You committed murder. There was another trolley system where it's like five people are on the tracks. Would you push a fat man, like a very fat man, or obese person, to stop the tra uh, trolley? And to that extent, people would say no because you're committing the murder. But in my eyes. It's the same thing as pushing a lever and running over a, uh, one person to save five people. It's the same concept. You commit the murder to save five people. But yet, when people would sacrifice one to save five, but when it comes to the fat man trolley problem, people would not push the man and say, and let the five die. And I'm like, why? I would rather... I feel like I do agree with him, then. Justifying the needs, the, the action needed to save the end result. Anyways, that's my input. Um, this is gonna where I'm, where I'm gonna leave off the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. Guys, hate leave a dislike. I might switch back to black bars. Tell me in the comments if you want to see black bars or no black bars. Uh, what you see, think about the trolley problem and all that. And I, because that's very interesting. That's more morals than anything else. But that's one to, to think about a lot. And I guess, and I guys, I guess I'll see you in the next video or live stream. Uh, bye guys.